Hello, my name is Adavokde and in this video, I'm going to try and survive a hundred days as the Sturakosaurus on Path of Titans official servers. This is total anarchy, I am not protected by any rules. Will I survive a hundred days? Let's find out. Welcome to 100 days on Path of Titans official servers. First order of business, where we are? Whistling columns? No, we are at the outskirts of a dark forest. Wasting no time, I immediately began with the questing. As a juvenile, I am vulnerable to literally everything, even all the juveniles. And just in case if there's anyone who doesn't know, the only way to grow on the official servers is by completing the quests. At the time of this video, the majority of the quests are gathering quests, such as this one, gathering pine cones. On completion, you will receive a certain amount of growth. Now you just gotta repeat this cycle a few hundred times until you reach adult. Of course, while doing this, you also have to be wary of other players. They might not hesitate to kill you. After completing all of my quests in Dark Forest, I had to run over to Whistling Columns to receive new quests. While I'm there, I could also complete my home cave mission, also receiving a growth boost. I just logged in today and the first thing I see is a Rex, a Spino, a few couple other things I couldn't really see it that well. And yeah, that's fun. It's not uncommon to group up with either your own kind or other species. Having friends will only boost your chances of survival, a big problem for solo players. The moment I'm done with this easy quest there, I'm out of here. They can have everything here. The first stages in life are usually the most boring parts. The rest of my time as a juvenile up to adolescent were just running around and doing quests. Even as I am closing to sub-adult, I had to keep a low profile. A Syracusaurus is by far not one of the most powerful herbivores in the game. The Syracusaurus focuses more being a mobile bleeder, and it's only during adult stage where I can be considered an actual threat. After becoming a sub-adult, I was closing in on day 10, and here comes a little twist. In this challenge, I will be receiving a mission every 10th day. I will then have to complete it before the next mission, in other words, 10 days. If I receive a mission that contradicts my previous mission, then the newest mission will overrule the previous one. First task and I'm not even adult. Please don't be a killing quest. I don't think I can kill anything besides a juvenile. No, 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 no. Yes! Okay, this would be bad if I were a semi-aquatic, semi but I'm uh, only a terrestrial creature, so... HA! After dodging a mission that possibly could have ended this video, I continued with my questing, eventually becoming adult. Oh, finally adult. Now I actually stand a good fighting chance against enemies, at least from low tier to mid tiers, and maybe Apex? Now that I was an adult, I was obviously curious to see just how well I can fare in a fight. Of course, I wasn't dumb either. I wanted to start off easy. Of course, there's no challenge if the opponent doesn't attack back. Just let this be a lesson to never go AFK, and if you DC'd, get better internet. I travel back to Dark Forest, wishing to drag out time and also to hide from people. This is still relatively early in the challenge, and sometimes the safest thing you can do is by doing absolutely nothing, uh, with the exception of drinking and eating.
Eventually I decided to stay up in the mountain, waiting out until day 20 and to receive my next mission. Nobody visits hares up in the mountain, so I would be safe. But then I got bored and decided to head back towards center. While not as safe as the mountains in Dark Forest, it is still relatively safe. Titan's Pass has a lot of vegetation, so it's easy for small creatures to hide, and the few creatures that does roam around are usually friendly question mark creatures. While making sure to not start any trouble, day 20 had arrived. Okay, yeah, I can work with this. As long as I don't meet any dangerous creatures along the way, this isn't too bad. I hope. Okay, so I am currently in Green Hills. Whistling Columns, that's one. Dried Lake, that's two. Green Valley, okay, that's three. Okay, now, I'm not gonna stay here. This is a semi-warm hotspot, so um, players might be here and I don't want to mess with them. I decided not to travel too far from Green Valley. Knowing how safe this location usually are, I decided to stick around on the Lone Mountains that is between Green Valley, Big Quill Lake, Dried Lake and Green Hills. Unfortunately for herbivores, it's only downhill to the nearest bush. It's not too problematic for a trip, however, compared to how easy Carnivore has it, then it's a bit of a hassle. The good news is that water stores are close by, and easy to get. The best part is, it is highly unlikely that there's a crocodile all the way up here. This cowardly strategy helped me bleed out time, and before I knew it, day 30 had arrived. Why do I have the feeling I'm about to receive a pain in the ass? Oh. Because I am. This is not going to be easy. Well, do I have to do an adult? I decided that since I do have a mission alternative that does demand me to kill an adult version of some creature, then I decided that it will depend on what I find first. If I find a young mid tier, I'll just kill it and be done with it, but if I find an adult mid tier, I will first measure my chances and then decide then if I should attack or not. Of course if I don't attack then I will run into the chances of not being able to complete my task before the time runs out. I searched the places where I thought a young mid tier would be. However, unfortunately for me, it would seem that I would not have any luck. The creatures I found was either low tiers or apexes or mid tiers but in groups. As a Sturaco, I barely stand a chance against a mid tier in a 1v1. In a group, well, it's no easy task, that's for sure. Once again, finding an ideal target proves to be the most difficult task in these challenges. Commitment wasn't enough, sometimes I just had to rely on luck. And lucky I was. I think I just struck gold. No seriously, um, he's not in view now but I think I saw a lone Allosaurus. Looks like to be an adult. I think. <laughs> Man, this would really suck if I attack a non-adult Allo. Where is he? I saw oh, there, there he is, there he is. He looks to be an adult. Yeah, maybe. He hasn't seen me yet, which is... Okay, he, he doesn't seem to be... Okay. As long as he... Okay. Yes. Now. Now. Yes! Get the bleed on. Okay, he's bleeding. Okay, just 
gotta keep him bleeding. Okay, he is. Oh, he is smart. He is smart. Trying to stay still to not worsen that bleed. And keeping his weapons towards me. Fake! Yes! Unfortunately for you, buddy, I am quite experienced with fake outs. Fake! Okay, shoot. Dang, he got bleed on me. I think my bleed is worse than his, though. Oh, he's actually showing proper damage. I'm gonna try and just face that this. I think I should have the health advantage. <gasps> yes, yes! He was an adult, he was an adult! Yes! Okay, gotta get this bleed off before I run into the forest and heal. 17 seconds even though I'm lying down? Do I maybe have to sleep? Oh, that wasn't that much better. Man, they have really buffed the bleed. I mean, it's good for me because uh, as a Sturaco, I am a bleeder, so this totally works in my favor. There's the cave. Perfect. Fun fact, the Suraco are actually small enough to force themselves into holes like this. In here, I don't have to fear too much from Apexes. I don't know about mid-tiers, but uh, lower tiers, I think I can win against them. Also, there we go. I don't really need this trophy, but I'ma just keep it right here anyways. And now I sleep. With the wounds I have received from my battle which ended in my victory, I decided to stay in the cave until I was fully healed, and until day 40 had arrived. Yeah, recording, okay good. Let's see what the universe wants me to do this time. No, no, no. <sighs> really? Was the Allosaurus not good enough for you? I see movement. What's tiny though? A baby spider! Sorry, this is just because you're an Apex. Not because you're a baby, but because you're an Apex. Oh, not now. Out of my way! Hots, listen, I'm sorry if that was your friend, but listen, I have my circumstances too. I mean, I wouldn't mind killing an uh, adult Apex, but I just came out of a battle with an aloe a few days ago and... Just... Listen, I have my circumstances. Yeah, you go. I think that bleed is really annoying for a flyer, especially since you have to be on the ground to get rid of it. Anyways... Make for the tr I'm gonna make for the trees. Yeah, he did he lose me? Or maybe not chasing me. Okay, he's not following me, but I'ma just go to the trees anyways. The trees are good uh, good defense against flyers. Seeing as the global chat was filling up with messages referring to a KOSing juvenile killing Starakosaurus on Green Hills, I decided I had to leave. Migrate to a better place and lay low. While keeping a low profile, I also made sure to take breaks, making sure that I wouldn't have to run into any potential revenge killers. Eventually, day 50 had arrived. Oh. Oh. Oh, phew. Well, this ain't too bad, actually. Wakey wacky. Exostabby. Come on, get out of there. You count as literally anything, so, um. I think killing you fulfills my mission. 
And there we go. Yo, my friend, now we're gonna go get tacos. For the next days, I just kept it quiet. Keeping a low profile, keeping my distance to everyone and anything, just patrolling the area I was in. Also made sure that if anything were to happen, or something was happening, then I would watch it from the distance. While I was also searching for more hiding places, I also went mountain climbing. The mountain climbing trip went less than ideal. <sighs> okay, what is with all these killing quests? Seriously, I hardly got any one of these as a T-Rex. I saw something fall into the water. I see a Sarko. The Sarko is attacking whatever fell into the water. Yeah, I don't think I can defeat a Sarko, especially if it's in water. On land, perhaps. But it will be difficult though. Mm, I need a different carnivore. Ooh. I saw a Dinochirus and there's a Hatsugopteryx. Oh, come. Yeah, Hatsugopteryx might have been a bit too difficult for me to kill since he can just fly away. The Dinochirus, though. Wait. Is the Dinochirus and the Amarga going to fight? Maybe I can third party and clean up the Dinochirus. I mean, Dinochirus eats fish, right? And fish is meat. So it's um, kind of a carnivore. Bart's Bolia there too. Yeah, I think they're just roaring at each other. They aren't really attacking each other. Which is a shame, but I don't think I would have been able to kill a Dinochirus to begin with. I don't like having to go to Grand Plains, but uh, I don't think I have any other choices. If I want Carnivores, then I know that Grand Plains and or even Crater can definitely guarantee. Out of my way, Slowpoke! Threatening me, not that he was is able to catch me to begin with. I spy with my two little eyes a young T Rex with no parents alone. Oh, okay, that was embarrassing. Get back here! No, don't you go into the water. We both know that there might be crocodiles in there. Just die already! Listen, I'm s I'm sorry to, to having to do this. Oh, well, this is embarrassing. He actually bone break broke me. Listen, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I uh, have my circumstances, but then again, why? What are you thinking, coming here without parents? Day seventy and still going strong. <sighs> uh, get the stretch now, then. Oh. Oh. Well, it was a fun video as long as it lasted. Crater. The big bottle on the map which will also be a pain in my ass. Let's see what we got going on here and let's see how long it takes for me to die. Let's see, we have a trike, do we? Yes, yes, no, get away. Quests. Trike. Spino. A few things running around. Flyers. A Dinochirus too. There's flyers. Where do those wings come from? Oh. Is he not? Is he looking at me? I don't think so. Oh, the Spino and. Trike is going at it. 
Oh, that is not a good. That Spino was not clever at all. Dang it, Spino, use your better turn radius to get back the track, behind the track, I mean, and then just tail ride the track. Are they calling quits? Ooh, are they actually having a gentlemanly duel? For official, that's a first. I see you, Dasp. You're not being slick at all with the way you're staring at me. Really? I just fought a T-Rex, well, with help. And almost died. Now you want a piece of me while I'm low? Ah, oh, I might die here. <gasps> Concavenator? Yes, Concavenator, help me! Yeah, he started this. So, um... And we helped each other during... Oh, oh, that was, that was a bad move. I got stuck on him. Man, one more hit and I might die. Oops. But he's bleeding a lot though, so um... Come on, Concavenator, just keep him bleeding. I'll try and help as much as I can. Be careful. Ooh, that was... That was kind of lucky. Just keep him bleeding, just keep him bleeding. Don't attack if you don't have to. He's bleeding really badly, but I can't take another hit. Oh. I think I'm faster than you, so don't even bother. Okay. Too bad I can't see how wounded he is. Kind of difficult to spot his wounds in the dark, but... He's really taking on a defensive stance. Oh yeah, he's actually really badly hurt. Ooh, that was lucky. I don't know how he missed me there. One more hit and... Yeah, I don't think I regenerated enough to take a hit. I gotta be so careful with this. Thank you guys for not uh, attacking, by the way. Megalania and Raptor. Yes! Oh man, that was so lucky. That was not skills, that was luck. <sighs> Day 80 and I still hope to get out of this hellhole. Actually, yes, I mean... Okay, um, I mean, just, just hear me out. Let's say I was a flyer and I was stuck on the flyer's buff, right? There's no mid-tiers there, so I had to migrate to somewhere that does have mid-tiers, right? And, you know, it's not that I don't want to kill another mid-tier here in Crater. I mean, I would love to, but um, I mean, I must insist on killing a mid-tier somewhere else. I admit, I must have failed convincing most of you guys, but at least I managed to convince myself. In any case, my quest to finding a new mid-tier had begun. Unfortunately, everything around Grand Plains and Impact Crater was unfortunately in groups. Creatures I would have less than a good time trying to hunt. If I wanted to find a more suitable opponent, I had to look elsewhere. Oh. That's a croc. Hold on. I'm gonna just hide behind here, wait for him to get further up on land. I mean, a croc in water is a dangerous creature, but a croc on land? Way easier to kill. Oh. Hi, Talmudromius. Please don't give away my location. Hi. Hello. Now fly away, please. Perfect. I think... The croc should have gotten uh, further in now. Okay. It didn't look like to be a complete adult too, so um, that should make things even easier. There you are! Sorry dude, but you should know better than to walk on land. Also, um, well, you're actually kind of fast on land. Not gonna lie. Listen, sorry dude. Um, hopefully you are an adult so I don't feel too bad about this. And if you're not an adult then I'm sorry. 
I have my circumstances. You were not an adult. Sorry dude, but I know for a fact that if you were an adult, you would have hesitated to kill me if I was drinking by the river, so uh, come up and After accepting the fact that I am just a cold-blooded murderer, I decided to go back to my lonesome mountain. Time passed and day 90 arrived. Okay, so here's something I don't understand. When I played as a Tyrannosaurus Rex, I didn't get this many killing quests, and why do I get them now that I'm just a pathetic low tier? Bet I'm gonna get another killing quest. Ah, 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 would you look at that? Would you look at that? Okay, well, at least, um,. As a Lotte, I do have the option of running away if the opponent are too difficult to kill, but as an Apex, I can't do that. Hello, Raptor. You're not a mid tier, and you're definitely not an Apex. Are you even an adult? Well, you're the first thing I've seen since I arrived here. I hope to find some lonesome mid tier here, but no, just you and me. And now it's just gonna be you. I'm out. No mid tears. And before anyone says yes, I do, in my opinion, Ceratosaurus with its stats is a low tier. A high class low tier, but still a low tier. So even if I were to jump in this then Actually, I I'm kinda bored. One, and now I'm gonna take this one. The Ceratosaurus didn't seem like an ad adult, so I'm gonna take this one out. But then again, that's kind of hypocritical, because I killed the Concavenator, and you can run away! And I have a lot of stamina. I think I should have even more stamina than you, since I entered the battle way after you did. Also, you are kind of fast. But I might actually run out of stamina before I get you. Oh, he might run under. Ha! Huh? Fortunately, you can't jump that high. Hello, Pikno. Oh, he sees me. I don't know why, I kind of thought the bushes would hide me, but apparently not. Oh, that was a swing and a miss. Well, you are a mid tier, so, um. Oh, I kind of don't have the stamina for this. Oh, come on, that was a hit. Why aren't you bleeding? I'm not gonna win against him in a sprint contest. <laughs> ah, that was a bad hit. Pignos are kind of a um, um, glass cannon, so I might be able to take them on a head to head clash. Plus, I can't uh, afford to let him get uh, get that bleed off. Oh come! No, no, I can't activate that on by mistake. I meant to activate. Ah, whatever. Oh, I'm gonna lose stamina. I I gotta hide in the bushes soon, or. Oh. At least I wait. The block takes stamina? I didn't know that. So I can't use the block if I don't have stamina. It's kind of a bit... Maybe I should have used the block a bit more often. Well guys, I managed to survive a whopping 93 days. So close to 100 days. But the rules are the rules, the game is the game, and that's how it went. In any case, if you like this video, please show your support to the channel, and if you want to see more videos like this, just click the video and playlist on screen, 
And with that, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.